yeah, sliding, <laughs> moonwalking. <laughs> Hello everyone, so finally we're on the final stage of building the last robot of the eighth one which has a magnum wheel and a robot arm. So I'm really excited about it, plus the intelligence of ChatGPT, so imagine that. Because this is the last one, not a surprise, it has so many components to build comparing to the other one. So it's going to take a while, but enough said, let's get on with it, shall we? Just so you know, this thing actually covers the screen, so I'm not sure whether we're going to have Buddy back on this model. All right, so we got the robot on, but for some reason, the arm is actually going on this way. I think it's supposed to go on the other way, so I'm a bit concerned whether I'm actually putting on the wrong way. But the good news is that we got Buddy back here, so if I actually stroke that, I don't know whether it responds. Oh, it still does. That's good. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. All right, so I think this is a better angle so you can see buddy actually looking around and you can actually stroke him. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Yeah, but it's very difficult to get any response for him by doing this because we got this mount. All right, so let's connect to the actual unit itself by my smartphone and let's enter to the driver mode, shall we? So, ah, okay. Now well, that's good. That looks much better. One thing I have noticed is that there's a slot here that you can actually put your camera or that uh, distance sensing unit as well. So this TOF unit that comes along with the original package could be slotted in here and then wired up so that this robot as whole can avoid clashing against any um, objects or preventing this robot arms to be damaged. But if you actually look at the main body unit itself, there are four different screws here that's sort of reminding me that those seven default models that we've been building is not only units that we can build but there are more to come along so i'm really excited to see whether there's going to be any standing robots or boats or drones that will come along later as well as an accessory that could be we can purchase from UB Tech website. So on the driver mode, as you can see from here, we got going forward and going backwards, and we can turn left and right with directions. This is for conference call as usual, uh, video recording, take photos and AI, which I believe this is for tracking your face. But then again, the camera is actually facing on the floor. So I'm not sure how you can achieve that on the floor level. And this one is the most interesting one, actually. We got the robot arm here. So if I click on that, that's basically grabbing it. And that's basically moving uh, the robot arm. For example, if I press left, I think it's just one at a time. You can't constantly press it. You have to do one at a time. So left, right, like that, going up, down. And the way how you grab this is that you press this uh, logo here. So if I press that, grabbing, releasing it again. So you just grab, release, grab, release. So by using the controller itself, I'll try to grab that TOF module that is on the floor. So if I just slightly go forward, um, I can actually see it from the camera view here. So I think that will be enough. Let's change it to robotic arm mode. So, okay. So on the camera, I cannot see the arm, which is annoying. So I got to press it down. Okay, I can start to see it. Cool. So let's open up the robot arm down. Oh, okay. So it's not, uh, Good enough to grab it so i gotta go slightly forward um, okay and downwards again so that's the lowest i could go so i don't think i'll be able to grab it uh, but let's press grab oh i think i grabbed it oh i missed it oh that's a bit of a shame all right so let's try an object slightly bigger than that so let's go forward um, use the robotic arm again uh, on the camera, I still cannot see it, so I've got to lower it. Oh, okay. Let's open it up, lower it. Okay, so that angle itself, I don't know whether you can see. 
it's not good enough angle to grab it. I wish it could actually go slightly that way. I'm not sure whether I have actually assembled it correctly, but the way how it angles is not really good to collect an item, if that makes sense. Let's say we're going back to this model here. And then I think I have to slightly go forward. Okay, that's the best I can do. Grab it. Oh, it slipped away from a hand again. So I'm actually struggling to find something that this can grab on this angle. I mean, I think a lot of objects with this height is going to be around here. But if it's angle like this, I mean, the grip won't be strong enough because it's angled. While as if it was more like flat on this level, I think a lot of things can be achieved. But then again, it might be the way how I installed the uh, robot arm is the wrong way because what I'm seeing here is that if I actually angle it up here, it actually seemed to go like that. So I don't know whether you guys can tell me whether I did it right or wrong, but I've actually tried several attempts to make this angle this way so that when you actually go down to this level, that it could actually grab it in a straight way. But um, I think this is the best I can achieve so far. So let's try a bit more reasonable approach here. So lower it down and then grab it. Okay, we grabbed it. So can we lift it up? Yay. Oh no. So there you go. So it's not strong enough that is attached. Okay, so that's not going to work. Detach slightly backwards. Moving arms this way, lower it. Um, slightly front and let's grab it. Lift it up. Ah, let it grab it. Lift it up. Hey, we did it. So let's go backwards. <laughs> and that's what it happens. So what I was trying to get at is that if the robot arm angle starts with this way, then it can actually go this way like that. Um, and then it could easily grab it like that, if you see what I mean. Uh, well, actually, it's going to slip away because of the handle. But I think it will be much easier if you can angle it like this way as well to grab it and lift it up. But it seems the robot way of angling it is like that, which I just don't know whether that's practical or not. So I'm starting to see the reason why it actually bends like a scorpion here if I'm actually installing this arm correctly. So that maybe it's trying to protect this clip here. It's quite weak, this side, so if it actually move around and hits a wall, maybe it might damage this, hence they came up with this design. But again, I don't think it's practical for grabbing it. But anyhow, let's try the maneuver testing, shall we? So if we go forward, backward. Oh, right, so because this is a Magnum wheel, just like the second molder that I've actually reviewed, you can actually use all of these directions here to freely move. But if you want to change the direction on spot, that's how you do it. Okay. So in other words, if I were to angle it uh, sort of 45 degrees this way, it can actually do it. I just love Magnum wheels. They're so cool. See that sliding there. <laughs> that's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Sliding. <laughs> Moonwalking. <laughs> yeah, I love Magnum wheels. Whoever came up with this, you know, they're genius. I just love it. Sliding, sliding, and it's very flexible. Okay, so let's try the uh, grip of this Soda Stream uh, Pepsi 440 mil. So it's quite heavy. So grab it. Can it lift it up? Nope. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. Ah, uh, there you go. So that's a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping that I could place my beer can here. So if I want to drink my cold beer, it will be able to grab it from the floor and deliver it to me on my room. But it's clearly showing that that's not practical at the moment. So if someone could tell me either whether this arm itself is not installed properly or whether it is the way how it is, that is not practical. We have actually explored various kinds of robot that is available on UGOT. They are really impressive, but I'm a bit surprised that the one that I was expecting most with the robotic arm, the final one, the arm itself doesn't seem to be that practical as I thought. But overall, 
I'm very happy with you God's uh, models and the way how it could teach you to do coding and explore with all these robotic technology with coding and chat GP and etc. And I look forward to their further models of accessories coming in as well. So if they can kindly let me know if they are watching this video and let me know, that'll be great. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.